All right, we now welcome in Kansas legend and two-time NBA champion Mario Chalmers. Rio, thank you so much for joining us in the morning of this big game. Uh, thanks for having me. No problem. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Let, let's start here. It's been over 15 years since the big shot that you had in the national title game, and it, it probably is going to go down in Kansas history as the best shot ever in program history. Can you take us through that moment, starting with – Derek Rose at the free throw line, because I, I know you had some words for D Rose before he <laughs> took those free throw shots. Oh um, yeah. I mean, it was just one of the moments where uh, I just told him, don't miss it. Don't miss the free throw or you're going to regret it. So <laughs> it just, it happened my way that he missed the free throw. Um, you know, when it comes to the last second shots, you know, my teammates and my coach staff always trusted me with the ball. So when I got the ball in my hands, it was, it was just like practice. It was an easy shot, easy, easy make. Uh, what was cooler, though, because I know recently you hung out with Jason Sudeikis and Sue Bird and you recreated the shot. Was it cooler making the shot in the moment or recreating it with those those guys? Uh, I think the feeling was the same. It just brought back all the memories. There was a little bit of less fans in the building, but uh, it still <laughs> brought back some great memories and I had a lot of fun doing it. Jason's a cool guy and definitely Sue. Sue's definitely awesome. Yeah, probably less pressure uh, in, in, <laughs> yeah, that, right. in that second moment, just a little bit. But, uh, you know, Rio, I feel like everybody has this idea or a thought of, of what the days after making a big shot like that would be on a major college campus. What was that actually like for you? Because that is something that I think everybody dreams about doing, and you lived it. Uh, it was a good and bad. Um, I know one thing that happened was, uh, you know, one of my teachers called Coach Shelf and told him that I couldn't come to class no more because I was too much of a distraction. Like, <laughs> when, the ES when the ESPN magazine came out, there'd be lines of students trying to get me to sign. Like, in the middle of wow. class, they'll come in the classroom and ask me to sign the, the magazine. So that was one of the craziest moments. It was kind of like, I, I can't even get to finish my college degree because there's so much attraction coming. But it was a lot of fun just being in the moment enjoying the process and you know just seeing all the, the happy fans and you know the the older town people the elderly people just how much that championship mean to them and um you know just the smiles that they brought on their face and you know it made their lives feel complete and you know that was the biggest thing for me one thing that you you don't lack obviously in your basketball playing career is grit and confidence i mean those two things it feels like you were you were born with those things when you got to miami what what is it in your mind that made you such a good part to that team and playing alongside the big three. Why did it work so well? Um, I really think it's my ego. Um, just because I know I, I wasn't getting the ball that much and I knew where the ball needed to go to. So just playing with those guys, they knew they encountered me in a big moment. Um, they knew I would knock down big shots. And I was a good defender. And that was one thing that they needed was somebody to defend and, and push the pace and be able to knock down shots when they needed them. And, you know, playing alongside guys like D-Wade and, and Bron that are ball dominated and make a lot of plays and make a lot of great plays. Um, you just got to be ready to play off the ball and be ready to shoot. And since I experienced that at college with, you know, Russell Robinson playing the point and Sharon Collins playing the point, um, it just transitioned well for me when I got to the next level. And, you know, you played for two of the best coaches to ever coach college basketball. Well, college basketball and pro basketball. Just the best basketball coaches ever, really, in Bill Self and Eric Spolstra. What are the big differences between the two, and what are some of the biggest takeaways that you also had from mm -hmm. both of those guys? Um, definitely with Coach Self, it was a lot more freedom. Um, I think for me, coming into the situation, going to Kansas, coming from high school, um, my dad had a military background, so he was real strict and always told me about, you know, getting better and doing different things. And, you know, Coach Tell would just roll the ball out and say, go play and just have fun. Uh, play defense. That was his main role. You play a good defense, you can do whatever you want to on offense. And that was the one thing I took from Coach Self was, you know, always being ready to play defense, always being accountable. And then with Coach Bo, um, it was a learning experience. You know, my first year was his first year as a head coach, so... It was kind of learning together and seeing seeing him come up with an offense that was perfect for our style of team with, you know, the big three and shooters and Mike Miller, Ray Allen, Shane Battier, and me. Um, he really went to the drawing board and figured out an offense that would help us prevail and help us win those championships. And just seeing his dedication to making himself better and making his team better um, it was just selfless. And that was one thing that was always preached around Miami was selfless. Well, you just mentioned some pretty good shooters there, and, and you yourself went on uh, the OGs podcast with a couple of your former teammates, UD and Mike Miller, and essentially, correct me if I'm wrong, but you had said that you would basically outshoot anybody in Heat history. Do you stand by that statement, and could you outshoot anybody in Kansas basketball history? Because there, there's some great shooters uh, that played for Rock Chalk Jayhawk, too. 
I definitely stand by my statement of uh, being able to beat anybody. So that that goes for anybody in Kansas too. Um, you know, the confidence <laughs> I got and when the competition's on the line, you know, that's when I really step up the most and, and really knock down shots. So um, being the best shooter in Kansas history is a tough one. Um, we had great ones, Jeff Boshi, uh, Kurt Heinrich, Tyler Connor T. Mm -hmm. Brandon Rush. So we had some great shooters in Kansas history, but I will say I'm the much, most clutch shooter. So I'll say that. I give me that title, the most clutch shooter in Kansas history. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I mean, there's, yeah. there's numbers in the rafters. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, listen you've got the, the resume. And the resume is one shot. I yeah. mean, is it not? Uh, but, hey, Rio, before we let you go, we got one more for you. Your Jayhawks got a big one tonight against Baylor. What has been your assessment of this team so far this season, especially as we're coming down the stretch here, and they've got some big games coming up as we finish conference play? Uh, they definitely got some big games coming up. It's a tough time in the in the conference, but um, you know I feel good about our chances at home. You know we're a tough team to be at home. We've been like that for years, and they just click a little bit different at home. Um, the shots go down easier. The ball moves better. And I expect a big game from Hunter and KJ tonight, and I think that's going to really help us. Of course, Kevin's been playing solid all year, so you know he's going to do what he do. But as long as our defense is straight, we keep playing scrappy, and we keep playing together, I think we can put us one out. Find some depth, too, as well, Rio. That's kind of a big thing for yeah. Kansas this year. But thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning on Countdown to Game Day. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So